everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today's video, I'm really excited because we are testing out Nasty Girl. Nasty put some clothes on, I told ya. Who knows that song? Destiny's Child back in the day. We are trying out Nasty Girl. Now I have shopped on Nasty Girl. But it was a long time ago, like before I was doing YouTube, way back when. Now I've heard a lot of hype about Nasty Girl, but I can't, I can't say it. No one can say it, can they? No one can say Nasty Girl. Nasty Girl. Nasty Girl. Like... <laughs> I don't know, I haven't filmed in a few days, I'm feeling weird. So recently, on YouTube, I've seen quite a hype for Nasty Girl. <laughs> can't say it right laughing um in the plus size arena quite a bit and kellyanne recently did a haul i'll link her below if you've not seen her she's fantastic go and check her out and i thought i'm gonna have to do it i did see a few other people do them as well so um becky wren i think her name is and tally sharp but kelly's one just pushed me over the edge and i was like i'm gonna have to give them a little cheeky go now the thing that has actually previously put me off of shopping on nasty girl i'm not gonna lie about it it's not the sizing it's nothing about that it's the price so nasty girl claims all the time that they've got these crazy sales going on 50 percent off 60 percent off da, 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 da. but i question it because the pro the pieces that i'm looking at you're telling me you were originally 50 quid before and I'm like, no I wasn't. On Boohoo's got the exact same thing for 15 quid, mate. Do you know what I mean? So that they'll have it priced at like 40, 50 quid and then say they've taken 60% off. And I do feel a little bit like they're mugging me off with that. So that has been the main reason that I've always sort of stayed away from Nasty Girl before. But I thought we're going to do it. And there's a few pieces, I'm not going to lie, that I wanted and I thought I'm not paying that price. I would never have paid that price. The original price and i'm still not buying it at the discounted price i'm not doing it so <laughs> i still did go all in though and i spent a lot so you could only buy a maximum of 20 pieces at a time which is just ridiculous in my mind like why but anyway i found another discount code so they were doing 50 percent off i found a, a discount code that got me like 56 percent off or something like that i applied to it and it worked but off the original price not the already reduced price hope i'm making sense let's get into it but before we do if you are new here, I do have two little pugs. You'll be able to see a little bit of Piggy's bum bum there. They're and Lola is sat right under the camera. So you will hear them snoring throughout this video. <coughs> so if you haven't been here before, the way I like to do my clothing horse is I'll show you the piece and I'll try it on and we'll talk through it all together. And I'll also tell you the price that I paid and talk you through the sizes and stuff. If you haven't been here before, I'm a size 16, 18 and I'm five for eight. Um, and I'm in that sort of awkward stage of I am straight size and plus size. So some things I have to buy plus size, other things I can get straight sizes. So I'm at a, it's, a, it's an awkward place to be sometimes when buying clothes. But I try and make the most out of it. So we love what we are over here. Uh, I try and be very body positive, don't we, Peppy? She's licking me non-stop. We love you I love you. And we love ourselves, don't we, Peppy? We try and be very body positive over here. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll stop going on about it and let's get into it. Said I went all in. I got one, uh, two, two huge, hairy, massive bags. So I'm gonna start with the smaller one first. It's so Nasty Girl had so many amazing t-shirts on there. I could have bought, you know I love a t-shirt already, a slogan tee. They had so many amazing ones on there. I could have just bought so many of them. And I got a couple, but this by far is my absolute favourite one. And I'm going to wear this all the time. It's this, it's, it's a really nice stone colour. And it just says on it, don't be a dick. And this, I think, is some of the best advice you could ever give anybody. Like, and I think this is something we should all live by. Just don't be a dick. Like, it really is that simple isn't it so it's this really lovely stone color like an off white almost like a cream i just love it i got this in an 18 to 20 and I, yeah i paid seven pound 92 with the discount that i had and yeah 
I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Cool, so here is the t-shirt on and I'm living for it as I knew that I would. It's just your standard t-shirt with the best slogan ever on it, I think. So cool. Um, again, this size is fine. I would have happily have gone up a size as well, but they had sold out of the next size up. I always love them big and baggy. I'll probably tuck it under, as we all know, or not it. But I actually really like this sort of off, like, cream colour as well. It's really, really cute. It had this in other colours too. Um, but, yeah, I really really like this t-shirt i think it's so cool okay next up i actually went for a skirt i rarely rarely wear skirts i'm not a skirt person i have quite a slim waist compared to my hips my hips are massive so i always find it quite difficult to find a skirt that sits comfortably on me and my, i carry a lot of weight in my belly as well and i just find that a lot of skirts just don't sit right they're not very comfortable i don't always feel my most confident in them but it doesn't mean I don't like them and I would like to sort of push myself to try these things a little bit more because who knows so I saw this and they had this um skirt and a dress as well I can't remember if I got the dress in the end we'll see but I just loved this pattern I thought it was super cute and I actually got this in the plus size so I'm hoping it will fit my shape a little bit better so it's this really cute black and white sort of splodge print skirt i just really love the pattern on it and it comes down to a frill at the bottom and it's got a sort of a frill here so it goes up at an angle is what i'm trying to say um, and it's got zip detail there's no stretch in this bad boy so if you haven't got the right size for you there's no stretch I actually went for a 16. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. We will find out. But this is called the Plus Size Smudge Frill Hem Mini Skirt. And like I said, size 16. And with the voucher code on there, I got this for £11. So I don't think that's bad. Okay, so here is the skirt on. And it's exactly why I don't tend to wear skirts. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it but I don't love it and it's just, it's clinging to me. It's clinging to my tummy. I know when I sit down, I'd be so uncomfortable, but yeah, I've got so much room around my waist and they just, it's just always what happens to me. So it fits fine, it, it does up fine, but it just clings on my tummy. And I think you'll be able to see it even more from the side. Like it's just, I look like I've got a baby bump and a real baby, not a food baby. So yeah, it's just, it's a great length. I love the cut down here. It's super cute, but just for my body shape, they just don't work. Here's what it looks like from behind. It's a nice length. I don't feel like it's too short. And I think my bum looks all right in it. It's a little bit static actually. Um, it's just this area and I've got a body on that like smooths out more than holds in but just yeah not doing it for me I just don't feel like my sexiest I don't feel sexy in it and I want to feel sexy in everything that I wear I want to feel good in everything that I wear and that this isn't doing it for me like okay I picked up this little wrap dress I thought the print on this was absolutely beautiful look how cute this lovely flat floral print is i'm absolutely loving lilacs and purples at the moment i just thought this was really really pretty but i'm not gonna lie it doesn't feel nice the material doesn't feel nice it feels like a really sweaty like a sweaty material is the best way i can call it so this is the plus floral ruffle dress uh in a size 18 and yeah it's just sort of your standard summer dress it looks quite short comes with a little belt as well now when i ordered this it said it was a wrap dress not a fake wrap dress it said it was a wrap dress and i hate fake wrap dresses they just never usually sit as nice um but we'll see we'll see what it's saying when it's on um i paid eight pounds 80 for this dress so really really affordable for a little summer dress oh my god this is a no <laughs> i'm not even gonna waste my time trying to find the belt like no this is so short like my vagina's hanging out like my vagina is about to pop out at any moment so just be when be when be warned be warned be it's not good it's too short it's not a proper wrap dress i don't, i think it looks quite cheap actually I don't lift my arms i don't lift my arms here's what it looks like at the back a little bit longer 
but no this needs a good couple of inches like absolutely not no no um if you're shorter be absolutely fine for you but not for me um feels like i like how the sleeve stops here and obviously where it draws you in under the bus but i just prefer a proper wrap dress personally myself i then got a couple of belts because it's always important to accessorize and i like i love a belt I think belts can be a bit underrated because obviously it looks nice again when you've got a pair of baggy jeans on or any jeans on trousers or whatever but they really make an outfit for me personally i love to show off my curves show off my shape i'm shapely and i own it and i like it and i love it i love i love it not like it and a belt is a perfect way to do that so i saw this little waist belt and i just thought this was a adorable and i don't have a belt like this this was a fiver i think i'll double check that in a minute but it's mock croc which i love mock croc yeah but look at this little fastener so you've got a belt here halfway up and then this one does up around here somewhere and then it looks like that how cute is that i just love that and this is like a waist belt as well so that's going to be perfect um so this is the buckle it up false leather croc belt black one size so if you're tiny tiny this might be a hip belt on you I'm not tiny tiny so i think this is gonna be more of a waist belt on me yeah that belt was five pound i just thought that was such still like again we're on primark prices there right next up another belt is another belt i have no belt like this and i'm quite bad at sticking at black belts i'm quite because it's just easy to pair with anything isn't it but this i thought was bloody adorable and this one was four pound 40 i paid for it look at this I bloody love it. If you saw my Primark haul like 100 years ago, because obviously I haven't been there for ages, I got a black leather look dress. And I imagined this belt with that. I just feel like so like cowgirl-ish. I mean, you're going to feel cowgirl in this anyway, but especially with a leather look dress, I just thought that would look bloody adorable. But look at the buckle on this as well. Oh, I love it. It looks much more expensive than £4.40. So yeah. I really like those. So this next dress is the plus size tie-dye wrap maxi dress in a size 18 and it's in this sage colour and I'm just loving this sage colour at the minute. I ummed and ahed about this dress because it was like 20 quid I think and again for there I just thought like I could get the same off Boohoo for like 15 quid but we'll see. So it's this lovely long maxi dress but look at this lovely sage tie-dye colour again you're not going to be able to see it very well until i put it on but it does have a zip down the back it feels like it's quite a heavy material in a good way so it's going to sit nicely not hopefully shouldn't be too clingy it's got a nice slit up the side as well so i got that one in a size 18 and i paid 18 pounds 48 for it uh this is really pretty really nice really comfortable i've just teamed it with the black belt it does come with a tie i'm just not keen on the same material tires just thought it'd look nice with a black belt this is lovely it's got this lovely slit up the side which i always just think is so sexy so nice and it's got these kimono type sleeves which i'm just loving like i think they're lovely i love this sage color at the moment i think it's absolutely beautiful and bang on trend i hate saying that but it really is um it's a good length but it's that annoying length for me it's not long enough it's not short enough um if i was to wear any type of wedge or heel with it it would look like it was fighting with my shoes and if I was to wear trainers with it, oh, I don't know. I love every part of it apart from the length. Um, I know you can't see it exactly. Um, but yeah, you just have to trust me on that. Here's what it looks like from the back. Really pretty. Skims over everything nicely. So next up we have the plus cotton smock dress in white. And it's like a white shirt dress. I love this. I got this in an 18. And it's this white like it's a cotton shirt dress it feels lovely and it's got little buttons down to the waist where it draws you in and then smocks out oh, i just thought this would be so lovely for so many different occasions potentially april 12th pub outfit pub garden outfit who knows i paid 16 pounds 72 i got that in an 18 i can't remember if i said that i think that's a good price if it fits nice 
and a good i love like white crisp like shirt dresses shirts all that sort of stuff let's see what it looks like cool so here is the little white smock dress and it's really cute i really like it it could obviously do with a good iron um but it's really sweet lovely material easy to just chuck on you could wear this with heels wedges or trainers and it would be a look either way imagine it with a really cute straw bag or any color you could wear anything with this like it's so cute i love it it's quite see-through so i'd need to have a nude body underneath that's fine and um, here's what it looks like from the back I think this is really sweet like i love the little ruffle on the bottom i love how sort of much room you have in here as well i'm curious of how this would look belted i'm going to try the cow print belt on with this one just for just to see i don't know if it will look that good belted really like this i've undone another button because i think where it's quite stiff it's quite nice to have that flash of boob because i personally love having my boobs out I'm just gonna say it how it is but uh yeah obviously you can button it all the way up i love this with this cowbell how cool is this i don't know what shoes i'd wear but yeah i think this is so cute again maybe just some little trainers um, oh, I, I really like this at first I was thinking I probably won't keep it but now I've put this belt on I'm proper feeling this I love this little belt I love this dress like let me know how cute let me know what you think but yeah I'm I think I'm really vibing with this I always know better when I watch it back but yeah I think this is potentially what I'm wearing to the pub on Monday. I love it. It's so cute. I love this as well. I really hope this looks nice on. So next up, I got this shirt dress. So this is in this sort of checkered material that we're all loving at the minute, like jackets and like oversized shirts. But this is a dress version. So it's half and half. Half is this darker side, half is this lighter side. You'll be able to see it better when it's on. Um, but it's got buttons all the way down the front. I got this in a size 18. This is called the plus size mono check splice mm, shirt dress so i hope you can see a bit there oh god see a bit there Ooh. this i paid 16 pounds 72 um it feels really soft really nice so let's see what it looks like okay i can't even bother to do all the buttons up i'm just these aren't what i thought they were gonna look like i mean i don't mind this one but it's just not I like it but this is what I would just wear by me around the house I wouldn't actually end up going out in it I would just wear this just to chuck on and just wander about like around the house and lounge around in and it'd be perfect for that but I don't need to spend like this price on something like this for that here's what it looks like at the back it's really cute and if you're looking for a checkered shirt dress then this one would be a great one it's a good length but again, I just feel like I'm a little bit in a night shirt. I then, because I obviously have problems, got another checkered shirt dress. Again, this is a shirt dress. This is called the plus size brown check shirt. I got this in an 18. And I just thought this was such a nice check. I paid £14 for that one. And again, I got it in a size 18. Okay, so I kind of feel like I wish I sized down a size or two to have this more as an oversized sort of shirt rather than a dress but that's just my personal like feelings towards it it's really cute this would look so cute with some shorts and a white top or any top really browns or anything nudes um with it open over the top it would also look really cute with some cycling shorts as well like that would be really really nice but i just don't feel like that great in it like again could belt it but I feel, I feel like for me it's just that little bit too casual to belt i don't know like for me this one is just not i'm just not loving it i don't hate it i'm just not like really vibing with it next up i went for some jeans so these are the plus size ripped high-waisted jeans in a size 18 i paid 15 pound 40 which if they're a good pair of jeans that's pretty cheap isn't it like almost touching on primark prices there and i do love a primark jean don't we girls 
So I'm all about the mum jean life at the minute and um, again I thought it would be better to get them in plus. Now these are really distressed and I love that look. I've got a pair of distressed mum jeans on now. They're quite similar but these ones are falling apart. The ones I've got on now from Primark. These potentially look quite big. Who knows? Anyway, so they're this lovely light blue denim which I love for the summer and these are full on distressed kind of denim really distressed baggy jeans i think looks really cool when you've got tanned fake tanned or naturally tanned legs underneath and they're super distressed so i hope they look nice i'm feeling these look at that big hole i love it i love it so yeah let's have a look let's see and no wonder they were 15 quid because half of it's missing but what's nice is like the ones that i've got on now They've got like rips in the bum and stuff almost. Bit cheeky, I know. I love it when I go out and I'm like, <laughs> a bit cheeky. I'll show you. So yeah, look, you see. Like, I love them though. I love it. Like, I don't even care. Like, it's not my full on bum cheek. And I like being a bit cheeky. But anyway, then ones don't have that, so I thought it might be a little bit better for when I'm popping to Asda, you know. Okay, so here are the jeans. And there are no from me. And I'll tell you for why. So they fit absolutely fine. They're nice and high waisted and they fit pretty nicely. They're not the best, but they fit pretty nicely. And I do really like the distressness, but I do not like the cut at the ankle. And I don't know how I'm going to show you because we always have this problem. But the cut on the ankle is just too short for me. Like I could roll them up, but then they'd be like going on like three quarter lengths. And I'm just not feeling that. I love how distressed they are. I love the big rips. But the ankle, it's just the shape of them is not flattering on me at all. And if you don't care about flattering, then that's fine. But I want to make the best out of my body and the best out of my shape. I absolutely think you should wear what you want to wear. But I still want to feel good and feel nice. And these jeans don't do that for me. They feel really, really well made. This is what they look like from the back. It's so absolutely fine but i just don't like the cut of the ankle like they're just too short on me i think if i was a bit shorter i'd be happier with them or if they were a bit longer i'd be happier with them um so yeah these are a no but i've got no real complaints it's just the shape of them i don't feel looks the best on me that i've ever had Ooh. right let's move on to the bigger bag i'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit because otherwise you're gonna be here forever so the next dress is a plus size crinkle floral mini dress. This is in the colour lilac but it's floral. I got it in a size 18 and this was £12.32. So oh, I just thought this, I love florals. I've always loved florals. I just thought this was such a cute little tea dress. I love that it's a little bit old school. I love that the pattern on it, like the floral pattern on it is a little bit like old wallpaper. I personally love that. Now, this is really pretty, really, really cute. Um, I love the material on this. It's nice and light. It is that cut, again, where the bust, it comes down here and then cuts round to the back. It has got a little zip on the side, but I didn't notice that, and I just shoved it on over my head. Um, so, again, I think I could have gone down a size, and I would have been absolutely fine. It's also, again, a really good length. It's not too short. You don't need to worry it's hitting me just above the knee so that's really really cute i'm just not as keen on this shape on me it's not bad i'm just not in love with it the other thing is this one is uh, elasticated at the arms and it's just a tiny bit tight on me so, like, i'd get over it but i do think it would annoy me a little bit so i'm not feeling the arms as much either here is what it looks like at the back But I am in love with this little floral print. I think it's super cute print. I'm just not as keen on the shape. Keeping with the florals, this is a plus size, plus slice, plus size floral ruffle mini dress, size 18. £13.20 this one was. And again, I just loved the florals on this. Um, I just thought how pretty are those i love oranges and reds together looks super super nice but i was quite intrigued by the shape of this one as well and um, again you'll be able to see it better when it's on but it sort of tears down so under the bus and then goes straight down and then it's got a ruffle at the bottom okay so i'm not as keen on this shape on me 
it is a really lovely print i love this floral pattern and the v is low but i don't mind that like it's nice and if you had a smaller bus it would look really nice as well but a bigger bust you've got plenty of room in there so you're not too restricted i think i could have even gone down a size on this and it would have been fine there is a zip up the back which is easy enough to do up on my own and i did it up fine but i just think for my personal shape i just like to show it off a little bit more and obviously the seam is here and then it drops down from the bust and i just think if the seam was more under the bust and then flew out that would be better for me i do think it's a cut that you can't really belt around your waist so and but it is comfortable this material is light it's thin it is a bit of that sweaty material but it's still really comfortable again it's something that you could go out for a meal in easily on holiday you don't need to worry about how much you eat because it's not clinging to your tummy in any way and there's plenty of room and that's one thing i will say about the sizing so far is it has been okay like it's been true to size and again i think i could have gone down a size smaller on this and i wouldn't have struggled too much here is what it looks like from the back so the hem comes all the way down and round and sits on top of your bum here so it's really nice detail and if you think that this shape works for you then perfect <laughs> okay <laughs> So online, this dress looks super cute. In real life, it looks like a, like when you were younger and it looks like a terrible bridesmaid's dress when you were young. So this was a plus size shired puff sleeve mini dress, size 16 in lemon, £16.72. <laughs> Not feeling it so much in real life. Maybe we'll feel differently when I've put it on. Jesus, nice. I mean, if you've got big boobs, you haven't got to worry there, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it's this lemon colour sort of tear dress. I mean, who knows? You've got to try these things on, haven't you? I love the colour. I love a bit of lemon, but you see what I mean? Like, it does look like one of those bridesmaids dresses when you were younger. Um, like a big cake dress, doesn't it? I look like a lemon meringue. Let's try it on and see what we're saying. Looks like a child's bridesmaid's dress, doesn't it? I look like a bridesmaid's. And it's see-through, isn't it? You can see my body underneath. Yeah, no. This is a massive no. It looks so much better online. I mean, I love this yellow with my hair, but the material doesn't feel that nice. Look how see-through it is. You can see everything. You can see everything. Um, the shape, I think, is nice on me. But, yeah, I think this is a no okay next up is another t-shirt and i again absolutely love this t-shirt i got this in an xl and it was seven pounds four p bloody bargain if you ask me oh i just i love orange but how bloody cool is this t-shirt like this hang on a minute hang on a minute right hang on a minute right I'm going to put a picture up here, if I can, if I know how to do it, of this t-shirt. But this print's going to be in the middle of the t-shirt. And the one that I've got, it's just like... That, it's just shoved on somewhere. It's going to be here, like in the middle of the t-shirt. The F. The F. I know it's seven quid, but come on. Anyway, it says in it, I see a strong woman, which I love. I love the colours. I love the print. But I'm a bit pissed off. I mean, it doesn't look bad. You wouldn't know. But I know, because I've seen the other version of it. I wonder if there's two versions, maybe. I'm just double-checking. Yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely, definitely. I'm going to pop a picture up of it. Anyway, I don't know. Let's try it on and see what we think about it being misprinted. I might have to let them know. I think I will, because it's just going to piss me off love the colour though and I love the print. I can't be bothered to chuck on any bottoms because that's just the kind of YouTuber I am. So with this logo it does look like it's supposed to be on the bust here doesn't it but the one that I ordered and again if I can put a picture up definitely had it in the middle so I don't know if there was two versions of this or if this is a misprint. I don't know. Like I just I don't think it looks right to you. I just don't think it looks right. I love the size of it. I love the colour. 
like oh, I could make this look so cute so many outfits and I love the print I love what it says I just don't know if they've put it in the right place but I know they haven't put it in the right place compared to the pictures on the website. I think I might send them a message on Instagram with a picture of it and just ask their opinion of it. If any else of you, if any of you have bought this top and yours is like in a different place, please let me know down below. Have I got a dud one? But I love the size of it and XL fits me really well. I would get so much use out of this t-shirt. I really, really like it for seven quid. I love it, but I just, I'm so focused on where the print is now. I just think should be here next up i saw this dress on becky wren i think her name is i'll link her down below she's a really cool plus size youtuber and yeah i just thought this, it's just so cute so much so that i couldn't decide what color so i picked up in both now i love everything about this dress and i know i'm like shooting myself in the foot but i've just got such an ick ick about corduroy material and i know i'm wearing it now and i'm trying to get over it and i'm trying to not let it stop me and i've said it before and i'll say it again the only reason i have this ick is because i used to go out with a guy who loved like corduroy and he had like a couple of pair of these awful corduroy trousers and the reason i'm bitter about that relationship is like he ended up harassing and stalking me for two years afterwards nearly for quite a long time afterwards so corduroy always just gives me like a ugh feeling because these trousers they were just horrendous and he was horrendous but i'm trying not to focus on it because i can't let it stop me from wearing things that i love in life so i saw these cute dresses like i said and i just i couldn't pick what color so i got both hoping that i can look past the corduroy effect so this one is a plus size color block corduroy shirt dress 16 pound 72 i got this one in a size 20. i went up a size because i remember um becky saying um to do so basically plus i like these things sort of baggier as well again you can cinch them in if you want to but how cute is this how cute is this that is a dress i just thought this was so adorable i love this color i love this color so much and it goes onto the back as well i just thought this was so cute bang on trend absolutely adorable like and girls search your dad's wardrobes because i bet some of your dad's got some of these things from the 80s uh my dad definitely would uh, but if he did i'd be all over it oh my god this is so cute this is so cute i'm so glad that i went up because I would have been fine with an 18, like I didn't need to go up, but I actually love how big and baggy it is. But I'm trying to think, like, will I actually wear this? I mean, I'm so bloody comfortable. I'm so comfortable. But I'm just trying to think, like, where I would wear this because it's long sleeved and it's a really thick material. I am going to be hot in it so am i actually going to wear it much over summer but it's not something that i would like wear with tights or leggings because of the color scheme on it but i really i do like it like i love it's got this big pocket here and i love the block color um i definitely would have been good with a size down as well here's what it looks like from the back tell me what you think guys i'd be really intrigued to know but this would look so good again with some trainers shoved on like just really casual vibes i'm i'm really feeling it i do really really like it i feel really cool in it yeah it's super cute huh what do we think so as i said i liked it so much that i, I got it twice but i got it in a lilac version rather than the blue but this one was actually more this was 21 pounds 12 but oh i just love these colors so much again i got it in a 20 but look at these colors i just love the lilacs i hope these look cute on i just think with a pair of trainers how cool am i like i'm so cool i love this color block stuff i just think that is so cute oh my god i actually think i would have been better off a size down like this one feels loads bigger than the blue one so much so that i actually feel like i'm in a nighty um i actually surprisingly prefer the blue one when when i was looking at this online i just love this one so much more but i do feel like it is yeah too big 
it's too big it's weird but it's not the same as the other one and i don't know if it's the colors of it but yeah i just feel like i'm more in a 90. here's what it looks like from the back again i'm not feeling this one as much as the blue one which is weird i love the colors of it um they are cute but i don't think you necessarily need to size up um i think i would have been fighting with an 18 in this i think a 16 would have been too small because i didn't want it to be tight but i'm yeah like i have loads of spare room in here so something to keep in mind if you are looking at these um but yeah i don't think i'm keeping this one so the next item i got is a plus size smock check mini dress so another checkered dress i got this in a 16 and it was 17 pounds really liked the check of this i've got a check shirt that I got from Boohoo and I wear it all the time. I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. But this dress is smocked. So these are all dresses, obviously. But it's got all the buttons down the front, but it's smocked. And I was intrigued by the shape because nice and casual again with trainers. Okay, so here is this shirt dress on and I think it's really cute. The first thing I'm going to say is it's so comfortable that it is really really comfortable the buttons are easy enough to do up and um, it's got buttons on the wrists here as well but you can roll it up if you wanted to which i think would be really really cute as well this is just easy to just shove on again if you're just going for a walk it's warm outside it's really light and airy i'm so sorry the pugs are snoring so loud um it's really light and airy it just feels really really nice and obviously this checkered sort of pattern is really on trend at the minute i personally really love the check on this i think it's really cute this is a real basic piece you're just going to shove it on with a pair of trainers and you're good to go like you don't need to worry about having holding in underwear on or anything like that you could put a belt around it potentially but it does have this seam just under the bust here it's a good length it's nice and long at the back hits me just about at the knee so again i'm five for eight you don't need to worry about the length as much i really like this piece i think it's really lovely really easy to wear really light and cool perfect for the summer would also be nice on holiday to just shove over a swimming costume or a bikini as well nearly there now guys i'm sorry it's a big haul going back onto skirts again I've been wanting a midi, mid axi skirt for the longest time, but again, I've just, I've got hairs everywhere. Sorry, it's bloody pugs and an itch in my face. Um, it's just something that I've tried over and over again, and I've just never found one that sat on my hips and my waist comfortably before. But I thought, try and try, and you shall, you shall succeed. If you don't succeed, try and try again, is what I was looking for. This is a plus size zebra print ruffle mini, midi dress. In an 18, I paid £13.20. And I love this print. I love this print. That looks roomy. That looks roomy, okay? I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But how cute is this, like, zebra print? It's got a ruffle down the side. I thought with a t-shirt tucked in it. Oh, I just thought it could be really cute. Okay, oh, I'm so sad. Like, oh, sorry, just showed you my downstairs. I'm so sad because this is exactly what I want. Like, I love this, but it's just too big for me around my waist and too, well, it's not too, too tight, but it's a bit tighter. But this is the kind of skirt that I would love because I love that it's got the cheeky little leg that's coming out. I just think it'd look really cute with a t-shirt like this or a bit more of a going out top, but I'm just gonna see. However, this, is a little bit better but i'm just still not i don't know what are we thinking of this outfit like part of me loves it part of me hates it like i love how it's cinched in i love the idea of this belt it's so sad that it only comes in one size i quite like it with a casual t-shirt of don't be a dick with this belt and then this skirt i like that it shows one bit of leg i think this looks so cute with some trainers here's what it looks like from the back camera down a bit so you can see oh. 
So this is a bit more of a full length of what it looks like. Can you see? Let me know what you guys think. Your opinion always means so much to me. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I love the slit. I'm all here for the slit. And I think this color combo works really nice, doesn't it? Um, you're gonna have to let me know. I don't know. So next up we have the plus size smudge print mini dress, 16. I got this in and it was 16 pounds 72. And this is the one that's the same material as the skirt and I just couldn't pick between the two, so I just love this print. So it's the black and white splodges again. Got a bit of tissue paper stuck there. Ooh. And it's a long sleeved mini dress. It's got the elasticate around the waist and then it puffs out that. This shape is usually quite flattering on me. So uh, oh, I savalu. Here is the splodge dress on and I really like it. Like this is like a good shape for me pulls me in at my smallest part shows off the girls a little bit it's not a bad length i think this with a pair of heels personally for me a going out dress if we ever get to go out again which i can't wait for this will be perfect it's like i really like the pattern of it i really like the splodges i love the sleeves i prefer to have my arms covered up i love that how much of the bust is showing it's not too much because some of the dresses we've been seeing recently are like they're down to your belly button for some people it looks amazing just not so much for me um i can comfortably wear a body underneath it and it's all covered and you can't tell here's what it looks like from the back it's not a bad length it is a little bit static at the minute so it is clinging to me but that will wear off i like how thick this waistband is it's really really cute okay and this dress i was just absolutely crushing over like i just love the look of it this is a plus size why do i keep plus sized floral wrap midi dress size 18 i got this in um 18 pound 48 oh my god i just love the print of this look at this stunning red floral print i just thought it's beautiful now this is not gonna i'm not gonna be able to show you this off because it's undone at the minute and it is a long midi dress but it's a proper wrap dress and that's what i love and my best bit of advice i can give you when going for a wrap dress is if you're in doubt about sizes always get the size up you, the more material you've got to play with the better you can really manipulate the dress for your shape and your size then if you go smaller um even if you're between sizes if you go for the smaller size it could be a lot more awkward or uncomfortable for you so that's why i definitely went up for an 18 even if they didn't have an 18 i would have happily have got a 20 bit knowing that i can manipulate the dress how i need to and it will still look absolutely fine but i just love this print and yeah we'll be able to see it much better when it's on i bloody hope this looks good on me just love the idea of this oh i love this and i knew i would i knew i'd love this dress I was so excited about it and I absolutely love this. There's so many things that I can imagine wearing this too. So if I had a wedding to go to, perfect. Smashed it out. Imagine this beautiful big pair of heels, like for me anyway. You could wear black heels, nude heels, little pink heels, like as in like it's got little flecks of pink in and I love red and pink together. So I think this will look beautiful with a pair of really light pink heels and a light pink bag. Like, cause I love red and pink together. I just think this is stunning. I love red as well. Red's my favorite color, red and pink, red and pink together especially. And I just think this pattern is stunning. I love the detail on the shoulders. I love, again, how it sits on my bust. It's a proper wrap dress. You can tie that yourself. There's several different ways to tie a wrap dress as well, girls. It's not just necessarily putting it round and just tying it there. Um, you can do, like I said, you can manipulate wrap dresses to suit you however you see fit. But the length of this one is just lovely for me personally. So it has got a little slit here, um, but it goes down. I don't know how to show you. I don't think I can. Can I stand on the edge of my bed? I might break my bed. I'm just standing on the edge of my bed. Hope you can see it a little bit more. Probably not. The socks definitely finish it well. 
um, but it's just, I just love this. Again, you could wear this more casual, little pair of pumps, trainers, whatever. Rumour has that the little ballet shoes are coming back into fashion as well, so you could wear those. I also, if I ever had a date in the summer for a picnic, I'd rock up in this. Take me for a picnic to the park, mate. I'd rock up in this, pair of flip-flops on or wedges. I'd look the bollocks, like I'd look so good. I love it with my dark hair as well. Sat there, I'd feel sexy, I'd feel good, but I can sit down, I'm not worried about my fanny coming out, my bum coming out. Like, oh, I just love this so much. I feel so good in it, I feel so comfortable. Here's what it looks like from the back. It looks beautiful, I feel so rich so expensive in this dress I, I just think it makes my body look baddy addy 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 yeah i love it i love it this is my favorite piece from the haul i just this is such a me dress and i just feel great i feel great i love color i just feel great in this i feel good okay everybody that is absolutely everything and um, what are your thoughts i think i did all right there is going to be quite a few things i'm sending back but a couple of bits i'm keeping as well i just i love this dress i love it i don't want to take it off hence why i'm doing my outro in it like i think some things with the discount code and the sales that they do were reasonably priced um there was other bits that just absolutely not no some bits in here are a fail but some for me are really really good winners and i will be keeping but please let me know down below what your thoughts are i'd love to hear from you i'd love to hear your opinions as always is there anything that i've picked up that you would like to get yourself etc etc talk to me come on keep me company talk to me if you've made it this far you are an absolute trooper and i love you and well done like you're amazing because <laughs> this is a bloody long one haven't done a haul for a while and i really enjoy doing hauls so yeah would love to hear your opinion on there also if you haven't done so already please do hit that subscribe button i'm so close to 2k like i would love to make it there like oh that'd be so exciting and i will be doing a giveaway for when i reach 2k as well so i'd really really appreciate it give me a thumbs up so i know that you like this kind of videos and uh yeah pop that notification bell on so then you'll be notified when I upload. But thank you so much for watching, guys. It means so, so much to me. Honestly, it just is crazy. And I just love doing this. So it's really, really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I hope you're having a brilliant day or night, whatever you may be. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.